welcome to Mandro Tech Master. In this video, I will show you quickly how to get VMware Fusion 8.5 free version Pro completely free with the Kagan, which you can download from my Google Drive. Link in the description below the video. So, uh, probably most of you that look at that video know what the Vimer Fusion is for already so I don't have to explain it for those who don't know Vimer Fusion is basically similar to bootcamp on macbooks and macs allows you to run windows instead of dual in, instead of dual boot you just open the install as many machines as you want you just um, you decide how much of a drive space would you like to give to the uh, specific machine and how, how much RAMs would you like to give it and you can run as an app in the just just as a small window you can run Mac OS and the Windows at, at the same time so um, let me just show you that um, Okay, so I've got the zip file in there. You will find the link below. Just simply unzip it. My language is Polish, so it might be funny. As soon as you download the file, the file unzip it. You will have four files up there. Don't don't bother about the top two. The two bottom, the one on the right up there, that's the installer for actual VMware machine. So just click on it, go next, next, next. Uh, in one step, it asks you for the uh, for the serial code, and you open the second file, which is a Kagan. Simple as that. You just click, double click on the keymaker. That's it. Et voila. You just copy and paste that serial number, and that will activate the Pro version, absolutely free. So. That's it. Uh, I already got it installed, so I'm not going to show you how it how, how you install and stuff. It's easy. It's really, really easy. You just click on the icon, like I said, on the installer. It just come up. You just click next twice, paste the serial number, and that's it. It's all done. So I've got the Windows 10 installed up there. Like I said, you can install as many machines as you want. Of course, you have to uh, bear in mind your disk, disk space. So... Let me show you. That's the Windows 10 I have. I just click on it. You can choose the place where you'd like to, the, the, the Windows icon to be afterward. As you can see, my Windows put up. I choose 4 gigabytes of RAM. I choose 40 gigabytes of the hardware space. The good thing about it, when you decide to give a specific machine like my Windows 10 right now, 40 gigabytes, it don't take 40 gigabytes out of your disk now and then. It will only take... It won't allow to take more than 40 gigabytes, but it will only take the memory you use under that Windows. So I, I only have like 15 gigabytes used out of 40. And that's only 14 gigabytes been taken instead of 40 gigabytes, which is much better because you can save some space. I only need Windows sometimes just to use it with uh, software I can't run on, on uh, MacBook. Simple as that. And... Uh, you can just make it the whole window. The good thing when you plug the USB stick, it come up with the question if you'd like the USB stick to be connected connected to Windows or Mac OS, which is handy as well. Or if you want to minimize or make it smaller, just go there. Et voila, you can still use all the other apps. That's the link below. You will find it in the description. Just click on it, download. No hassles, no passwords, as simple as that. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe button below. That's it. Nothing more to say. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.